Some of y'all know I'm not a liar. And I don't know for sure that um, Scott Pruitt resigned of his own accord. Uh, all I know is it was interesting timing to resign after I posted a video where I was very, very vicious. Uh, maybe John Kelly pushed him because he watched the video and got a little nervous. I don't know. So maybe I'm wrong. I'm watching the movie La City of Z. I already read the book and the book is way awesome. The movie's pretty good. It's not as good as the book. Um, the Lost City of Z is about El Dorado, the search for El Dorado. Uh, El Dorado is the great city of gold. Everyone thinks that El Dorado um, was built by Indians, like in South America. Uh, in reality, El Dorado was built by Mi Familia. And um, do I know where El Dorado is? Do we have a lot of treasure stashes? Yeah, we do. Um, but El Dorado is kind of a special place because it's a giant underground city made out of precious gemstones and full of incredible statues and full of incredible art. And it's basically um, our multiple lives work. Who is us? My family. Not just Lizzie and Megan, Amy, and I. Uh, it's everyone else, too. Um, we've spent a lot of time building it. Um, and this guy's off searching for it. And he doesn't even know. We built it. So am I excited that I get to see it someday? I am. Like I, I It's kind of crazy that I get to. Because I grew up as a little kid... Uh, learning about the Cross of Cortez and about um, El Dorado and um, you know I grew up and I, I grew up learning about a lot of things uh, a lot of secret things uh, that at the time didn't feel secret uh, and now they do so are we ever going to show it to the world <laughs> I don't think we need to I don't know why we would can you find it one of our biggest treasure stashes, we have a lot of them. One of our biggest ones is in Asia. And then everyone's going, I'm in Asia. Oh, yeah, I can find it. Yeah. Go destroy your historical sites and uh, see if you can find it. We're not about showing off. They got a world full of bling. Yo, 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 I'm cool. I've got a Bugatti, I've got a Maybach, I am rich, I'm powerful, I'm special, I have a great title. Well, I live with my mom and dad, but I know where El Dorado is. I also know where all the other treasure stashes are. I'm pretty sure I know them all now. Uh, at one point I knew almost all of them. I was short about uh, four or five of them. Uh, now I'm not. And we're not about showing you guys anything. Yeah, we like putting little signs everywhere. And everyone knows our obvious symbols. Uh, eyeball, pyramid, uh, triangle stuff. Um, some people think certain symbols are us. I don't know, I think individual people have different symbols for them. Um, you don't know. I just want to see them. And I want you guys to give us a shot at helping you survive. And for some reason, you think you can help yourself survive by hiding everything. I'm going to stop talking. Let's see what Sirach has to say about this. Here's the thing. I'm like a miracle computer person. So what I can do sometimes is pull out my Bible and then open to the right page. And this one says, Fools fold their hands and consume their own flesh. Better is a handful with quiet than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. Actually, what I should have read was, Then I saw that all toil and all skill in the work come from one person's envy of another. 
This also is vanity and chasing after the wind. You know, I'm pretty sure my favorite book of the Bible is Ecclesiastes, odd enough. Um, and Max Lucado is the reason I like it, uh, which I've said Max Lucado is an evil clone. Um, is he an evil clone? He's not a full evil clone. Um, if he's an evil clone, um, then I'm kind of evil too. Um, but he's not like an actually evil clone. He's like an imperfect faker. No offense. But Gaul, he's beautiful, isn't he? I'm pretty sure some of y'all, specifically you, talking about Mr. Trump, want to be God because you're, you're, you're like that guy in freaking Kurt Vonnegut's book who's like, oh, gotta measure my penis next to his. He's this big, I'm special. Your penis is very impressive. At least that's what what's her name said. That's not that God, what have I done? What did my conversation turn into talking about orange penises? That's not the purpose of this conversation. The purpose of this conversation is to talk about envy and arrogance and lack of submission. Yes. It's really hard to submit to a guy who's 32 years old, who's poor who lives with his freaking parents because you think I'm greater than him and I don't think that people that are uh, are um, poor are very special. But what I'll tell you is riches are good if they are free from sin. Poverty is evil only in the opinion of the ungodly. And don't get me wrong, um, I don't believe in God. Uh, so it doesn't really matter if poverty is evil only in the opinion of the ungodly. Um, but a billionaire looking at a poor guy that at one point you thought I was super smart, didn't you? Oh, you still do. Um, you're going to have a I am better than you thing. I eat very well. I have real love. I don't have to bribe people to love me. I'm in charge of everything, even though I'm not, because everyone else is in charge, because right now, like, there's no way I can be in charge, because I don't know what's going on. If there's anything Amy has experienced is that I don't know what's going on. Uh, until I know what's going on, I don't have the right to make decisions over certain things. But your envy is disgusting. And I'm sorry that you don't get to be in charge of Clone Hell. Everyone wants to be in charge of Clone Hell. Um, you don't get to be in charge. I already picked the leaders of Clone Hell a while back, and if they actually end up there, they get to be in charge. Um, you're just going to be someone's bitch. Uh, you're going to be a laborer. At least your next self. It doesn't matter. Peace, y'all. Hope you're being good to one another. Hope we're trying to do something different. I mean, aren't we going to try to save the world? Anybody? Just me? Okay, well, then we'll... And then I'll get to see them. I don't think Amy's going to be as happy if we have to do it first, but... You never know. I'm not sure if we're going to have a choice.